Alrighty guys, it's Hunter Oakley here, I'm back with week seven of commercial dive school done. Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing, I'm doing like weekly recaps on how my commercial dive school up at the Divers Institute of Technology in Seattle is going. Um, so I'll just get right into it. If you haven't seen the prior videos, go check them out. Um, but this week is our second week of diving, but it's week seven of the school. Um, so on Monday, we started out just uh, lightweight rigging. It was like PowerPoints all day long, and there was a test at the end of the day. So we went over um, crane signals, how to, how to do the knots. I mean, like I've showed you a few um, videos ago, I already knew how to do some of the knots. So he showed us one more that's pretty important and it's called the trucker's hitch. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just to get more leverage on something. Um, and then we checked out um, the weld tanks that day also. So that was where we're gonna be doing all of our diving for the um, next three days. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so other than that, we pretty much, I mean, it was it was a lot of learning what different kind of lines there are, like synthetic and all that kind of stuff. Um, the difference between line and cable and all that. Like I said, crane signals. Um, yeah, that. Um, and then, yeah, for the most part, that was it for the day. We did a test on that. Um, and then Tuesday was the knot test. Finally, <laughs> I'd been practicing for it for quite a while. So we uh, went down, the, the tanks are probably only like 10 feet, or they are only 10 feet deep and probably like eight feet in circumference. But you go down and there's a, a glass window. It's probably like two foot by two foot um, square. And you gotta go down right as you get on the ladder and get oriented they tape up your um, hat so you can't see anything and then they send you down with a piece of line. So that's pretty weird, we uh, did that. It was it, it was cool though, we went down, kinda had to get yourself oriented, you're like feeling your way against the wall. It's, it's awkward and then once you get settled and in place, um, some of the guys had a little bit more problems doing it but it wasn't too bad for me. I cranked them out pretty fast because I'd been practicing prior. And the week before I took in my line on one of the dives just to practice the knots underwater. But it is different not being able to see what you're doing. You're like, all right, I think the line's here, blah, blah, blah. But um, so for the most part, that's all we did that day. Um, I think I had like a bottom time of like 16 minutes or something, went down and cranked it out watched the other guy um, finish and then we both came up so that that was pretty fast and then on um, Wednesday we put together these two flanges so they sent us down um, with they would send down on the um, oh my gosh what is that called um, it's not a pulley oh a winch um, they sent us down with a winch um, two different size, or not two different size, but two flanges and then uh, a line that had a bunch of bolts on it, uh, nuts and bolts, and we had to fasten the two flanges together. So we did that, um, that went well. We, we had enough time where we, we took it apart and put it back together like three different times just to practice using your hands and stuff underwater. Um, and so that was pretty much that. It wasn't too interesting. We also worked with the crane a little bit. Um, they have a crane on campus. It's just a small one. So we got to use that and had other guys play, like try to place this, um, it's basically like a concrete block with an eyelet on the top of it. And just, you would grab that and then try to place it in certain spots on the asphalt just to practice signals and whatnot. Um, so that was pretty fun. Um, then, yeah, that was pretty much it for the week. And then Thursday, I'll, um, I actually brought my GoPro on Thursday. So I'll cut to that clip and I'll just do like a little voiceover of what we were doing. Um, 
So yeah, I'll cut to that right now. So right here, you can see that we're fastening um, two elbow flanges onto this gate valve. But the problem is the, the tender that sent it down rigged it weird. So we weren't able to get um, the bolt all the way through and the nut on the other side. So I realized this after we already started putting it on. So we had to take it back off. I decided to lower it down and re-rig it so we could get both the elbow flanges onto the gate valve. So that's where right, right now is where we're lowering it and re-rigging the point at which it was dropped down at. Um, so you'll see that I lowered it down, then it'll pop back up here in a second. And we started to fasten on the elbows, and then that was kind of the end of it. So yeah, as you can see, we uh, did that. We only had a bottom time, a, a goal bottom time that day of like 30 minutes, and I was already waiting in the tank for like 10 minutes until the second guy came down. So we kind of were limited time, so we didn't get all the bolts in and it tightened down, but at least we got it situated for the next guy, because we were the first guys in the water that day. Um, so at least we got it situated for the next guys that came in. They weren't confused on why the rigging was all messed up. So um, that was kind of cool to be able to say, yeah, I fixed that and because the guy sent it down wrong. and Because the other guy I was diving with di dove that same tank and he's like, that was the same problem we had yesterday. I just jammed in a couple bolts and called it good. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's not how I'm gonna roll. I'd rather do it right. So we um, did that um, pretty much for the rest of the day. Um, guys were in and out of there or whatever but for the most part everything this week went really smooth we just had a lot of um it was mostly just getting bottom time and, and getting more comfortable in the hat and everything um so this week felt to me like i i made a lot of progress just being comfortable in the water and everything we we're we could actually see what we were doing so that was nice for a little bit of a change because the week before it was um not much of seeing anything when we were cutting those coins and doing our drills um, but yeah i'm feeling a lot more confident in the hat a lot more comfortable um camming up and everything putting the hat on because that's always a struggle yeah I, i've talked to the instructors or whatever and they're like yeah you, you just got to get used to where everything is and how everything feels especially with big thick gloves on camming up is um pretty pretty weird when i say camming up it's it's putting like the neck dam up inside the hat and then swinging the clamp or cam um to close you up which which is kind of the hardest part of putting a hat on um to me so just more experience the better um but i think that kind of wraps it up for this week um just like i said it, it was a good week we got a lot done um a lot of time in the hat so i'm happy um, next week, I will get back to you. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing next week. I know we're diving into the lake instead of into the diet or weld tanks. So that'll be interesting. I'll bring my GoPro to get a few more clips. And yeah, so thanks a lot for sticking around and we will see you on the next one.